Hi there, and welcome back to Modern Woman. In this video, I'm going to be sharing steps for how to do your own DIY shelving in a garage space. But this video can also be used as a guide for any kind of organizational shelving project you want to do in your own home. Now, just so you know, I used 11 inch brackets that I purchased from Amazon. I'll link those in the description box. And I also purchased four eight foot long by 10 inch inch wide pieces of lumber, so some 2 by 10s I purchased those from Lowe's. These items can be purchased from Home Depot as well or any other kind of hardware store. Home Depot is my personal favorite. Alright, let's get into these steps. Now step one, you want to mark where you want your shelves to hang. Tip number one, if your garage slopes, measure from the baseboard not from the floor so that your shelves don't slope too. I had this problem and had to restart certain of the lines. You don't see that part. I'm hanging four shelves. So I measured the full eight foot length of each shelf on the wall so I could make sure I had enough space from the garage door that that wouldn't be an issue, but also to make sure I had the right height spacing. Okay, step two, you're gonna mark where your brackets are gonna hang. On the line for each shelf, I marked spaces at the far left and far right for the end brackets, then evenly marked spaces in the middle of the line for those two middle brackets. And then I just took one of my brackets and I marked the holes where the screws would go into the wall to install the bracket into the wall. So here's tip number two. Be sure to have enough brackets to hold the weight of each shelf. I had to add more brackets later because I had too much weight for the brackets that I had originally had on the wall. The packaging for the brackets should tell you how much weight they can hold. For instance, mine could hold about 66 pounds per bracket. That means that with six brackets, they could hold 396 pounds altogether, including the shelf. Now in step three, you're gonna drill the pilot holes for your brackets. You'll need an electric drill and a drill bit. I've included links on how to use an, an electric drill and a drill bit in the description box. And you'll also need a hammer and your wall anchors. Now my brackets came with all the screws and anchors needed. I recommend buying a set with all of those pieces if you're new to hanging shelving because it makes it way easier to have all the right pieces that you're going to need to make sure that your uh, shelves are inserted and installed is in a very steady sturdy manner okay it'll make sure it's way easier to make sure everything is securely put in place and once you drill the pilot hole you will insert the anchor into the wall hammering it in gently you only need to use anchors when you're drilling into the portion of the wall with no stud don't skip the anchors though or your shelves will fall off the wall brackets one at a time. I drilled all the pilot holes and put in the anchors 
all in one fell swoop and then I went and installed the brackets one by one um, after that. Now you could install bracket by bracket, drill the pilot hole, put the anchor in, put the bracket in and move on, but with such a big project that requires so much measuring and precision, I personally decided to use this method just in case I had some measuring errors and it was a good idea I did because I did have measuring errors in the very beginning. So it's just easier to fix those issues if you don't have half your brackets in the wall, okay? Now step four, you get to hang your brackets. Now in this step, my tip is be sure to put the right screws in the right holes. The short side of the bracket typically goes into the wall because the long side will hold up the shelf. If you have more narrow shelves, then you can flip flop that. Again, this can be reversed, but the best setup for me was to use that long part to put the shelf on and then put the short part into the wall. However, the long screw goes into the wall and the short screws that came in my package are actually used to, um, once you sit the shelf on, to screw them in from the bottom up to hang the shelves more securely. I tried using those short screws and it didn't work out so well because my wood was a little warped. It, that ended up not being a big issue though. If you're using prefab shelves or thinner shelves or shelves that aren't warped, <laughs> lumber that's not warped, you shouldn't have this issue. Now step five, hang your shelves. Now you get to put the shelves on the brackets. You're in the home stretch. This is such a gratifying step. I felt like I could breathe a big sigh of relief because the hard part was done. Now I did not stain my shelves because I like the rustic natural look of the wood with the vibe that I'm going for in this garage, nice open airy space, but you can definitely stain the wood shelves if you take the route of using lumber. Now I chose lumber honestly because it was cheap and sturdy. I had a minor issue with the warping but the, the shelves ended up being very sturdy and very stable and that's what counts. Now. With shelf four, it was too high to put up because on my own because the bar that holds up the garage door track got in the way. I removed the footage of me spending like 10 minutes trying to put it up myself, okay? <laughs> and now we're at step six, stocking the shelves. You get to down to the fun part of organizing your garage space and in the next video, you'll see the finished result, okay? I hope this video has been useful. Please give it a thumbs up if you've gotten some helpful information for your next renovation and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay current and up to date with videos for our modern woman community thanks so much i look forward to seeing you in the next video